to Paul Mr. Channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure the settings for the Paul Relab Low Frequency Solar Inverter. After turning on the inverter, press the Enter key for 10 seconds to enter the settings mode. Setting 0 allows you to configure the AC input voltage range. You can choose between a wide or narrow range which varies for height and the load voltage modules. The specific voltage ranges are displayed on the screen. The wide range can accommodate great input voltage fluctuation, ensuring continuous and stable power supplied in area with significant voltage variations. The narrow range will quickly disconnect to protect the equipment if the voltage exceeds the set range, should both regions with stable voltage. However, while the wide range handles broader voltage changes, prolonged exposure to large fluctuation may impact inverter and loss lifespan and performance. Conversely, the narrow range sensitivity to voltage change can better protect the load from high or low voltage, extending its lifespan. Setting 1 configures the AC frequency voltage range, similar to setting 0, with options for a wide range and a narrow range. Setting 2 is for configuring the operation mode or mode output power priority. UTI mode, utility priority. The utility will be the primary power source for the load. When the priority is unavailable, solar and battery power will be used. SOL mode, solar priority. Solar power will be the primary source for the load. If solar power cannot meet the load's requirements, battery power will be supplemented. When the solar power is unavailable, the output will switch to utility grade, even if the battery is sufficiently charged. SBU mode Inverter priority, solar and battery power are prioritized. Solar power will be used first, with the battery supplementing if necessary. When solar power is unavailable, the output will switch to battery power. When the battery voltage drops to under voltage warning level, the output will switch to the utility grade. Setting 3 Configured Charging Mode CUT mode, utility power priority. Utility power will primarily charge the battery with solar simultaneously charging the battery. CSO mode, solar priority. Solar power will primarily charge the battery. When the battery voltage falls below the voltage setting setting 9, the charging source will switch to the utility. When the battery voltage exceeds the value set in setting 10, it will switch back to solar. OSO mode, only solar power charges battery. Setting 4 configures the percentage of total charging current allocated to utility charging. Setting 5 configures the percentage of total charging current allocated to solar charging. Setting 6 configures the boost charging voltage, which should be set according to the battery menu. Setting 7 configures the flow charging voltage, also referencing the battery menu. Setting 8 configures the battery discharge cutoff voltage to protect the battery from over discharge. If the battery voltage falls below this value, the inverter will automatically shut down. Setting 9 configures the voltage at which the charging source switches to utility in CSO mode. Setting 10 configures the voltage at which the charging source switches back to solar in CSO mode. Setting 11 configures the inverter output voltage, referencing the ranges from low and high voltage modules displayed on the screen. 
Sending 12 configures the AC detection speed with options for fast, medium, and slow. Fast response quickly reacts to sudden voltage changes, protecting sensitive loads, but may increase wire on the inverter due to frequent switching. Slow response reduces wear, but may not protect sensitive loads from sudden voltage spikes. Media response balance protection and device lifespan should fall for general appliance and lighting. Setting 13 configures the inverter output frequency to either 15 Hz or 60 Hz. Setting 14 enables or disables the automatic restart function. If enabled, inverter will attempt to restart three times after short circuit or overload fault. Setting 15 configures the backlight function. This options for always on, always off, or delayed off. Setting 16 enables or disables the buzzer alarm function. If enabled, the inverter will sound an alarm during fault. Setting 17 enables or disables the load battery voltage alarm. It's recommended not to disable this to protect the battery from irreversible damage due to under voltage or over discharge. Setting 18 is used to enable or disable the battery under voltage shutdown function. When enabled, if the battery voltage falls below the inverter's building percent threshold, the inverter will automatically shut down. It will remain off until it detects the photovoltaic or AC input, at which point it will automatically restart. This under voltage shutdown function provides a higher level of protection compared to the under voltage cutoff voltage control. Under voltage cutoff protection, if the battery voltage drops below a certain threshold, the inverter will stop outputting too low but will remain in standby mode, consuming a small amount of battery power. To prevent prolonged standby power consumption and to protect the battery, the under voltage shutdown function will completely shut off the inverter when the battery voltage falls below the shutdown threshold, thereby holding over battery power consumption. Setting 19 is not user configurable. Setting 20 configures the baud rate for communication between inverter and external device with selectable baud rates shown on the screen. Setting 21 shows the inverter output voltage, not user configurable. Setting 22 configures the battery voltage required to manually start the inverter after an abnormal shutdown. Setting 23 configures the under-voltage recovery voltage, allowing the inverter to automatically restart when the battery voltage exceeds this value. Setting 24 configures the battery type, including user-defined option, ternary lithium battery, lithium iron phosphate battery, cell battery, GEL battery and the fluid delicacy battery. If customizable ternary lithium or lithium iron phosphate is selected, the charging parameter can be manually set. If lithium batteries with BMS communication are used, manual parameter setting is unnecessary. Setting 25 enables or disables BMS communication. When BMS communication with lithium batteries is successful, setting 26 to 29 can be configured, and the inverter will use the SOC value as a reference for battery charging and discharging. Setting 26 configured SOC at which the inverter will shut down due to under voltage. Setting 27 configures the SOC at which the operating mode switches to utility. Setting 28 configures the SOC at which the operating mode switches to the inverter priority. 
Setting 29 configures the SOC required for normal operation after the inverter is turned on. Setting 13 allows for one click restore to factory settings. Setting ECO enables to disable the energy saving mode. That concludes the configuration guys for the Power Lab series. We hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.